it's stuff like this why people don't like you police just so we're clear like <laughs> one of the things that always really made me hesitant when it became to you know becoming law enforcement or something like that was the amount of power that a single police officer has it's actually rather scary they have the ultimate ability to completely wreck someone's life if they so desire and we got this article coming to us from nbc news where it just makes absolutely no sense all right plenty of sense when you if you were to just say hey this guy was tripping on um authority but let's get into it florida officer fired after arresting two six-year-olds yeah, you heard me. <laughs> Florida officer fired after arresting two six-year-olds. Orlando Police Chief Orlando Roland. Wow, really? Your, your, na your name's Orlando and you live in Orlando? Oh, okay, whatever. Said there was no choice but to fire the reserve officer after he arrested the children in violation of policy. Now, I would play the NBC video, but NBC video uh, sucks not leading. So this is written by Doa Madani. A school resource officer was fired after arresting two six-year-old students last week, Orlando police said Monday. Orlando police chief Orlando... <laughs> well, sorry. I'm Orlando Rolon announced that school resource officer Dennis Turner was terminated as a result of arresting two children without the approval of a commanding officer. Uh, why? Okay, so here's the thing. As a human being, don't you think talking it through with the six-year-olds should be as a person particularly in having the level of authority that a police officer has don't you think just you know talking it out explaining it to them would go a little bit better than literally uh, literally arresting them <laughs> an investigation is still underway into the incident <clears throat> This will not stop, the, the chief said of the probe, but at my level, I have the opportunity to be able to exercise that. And when I came in today, I knew there was no choice here. He was going to be terminated. Oh, bro. Oh, and he looks like Carl Winslow, too. He actually looks like the type of cop that would be like, hey, kids, come on, guys, let's go shoot hoops together. You know? <laughs> like, he, he looks like that kind of dude, but apparently not. He was a dick. Uh, Turner was a reserve officer, meaning he served at the will of the chief and could be fired before the end of an investigation, according to Roland. Roland, well, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, also said that he has reminded officers of the department policy that requires officers to get approval before arresting any child under the age of 12. The deal is, okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Here's the inciting incident. NBC affiliate WFLA reported that six-year-old girl that a six-year-old girl was charged with battery after she kicked someone at Lucius and Emma Nixon Academy, a K through five grade charter school in Orlando. She kicked someone. You go in and arrest her. Come on, man. Seriously, the girl's grandmother, Marilyn. Marilyn Kirkland attributed her behavior problems to sleep apnea, according to the station. Her arrest was stopped after a supervisor learned of it, and she was returned to school before being processed. <sighs> dude, dude, what part? Like, bro. <laughs> like, it, like, it's just like, like, why are you tripping hard on six-year-olds? I don't get it. A second child, a six-year-old boy, was arrested in a separate incident at the same school, was processed and later released to a relative. Why are you arresting six-year-olds? Bruh. Why? Why are you arresting six-year-olds, man? Seriously. You are the cop. You are the authority. You are the adult in the situation. So thusly, that child should have should be like you know you should be trying to build that type of um relationship with the kid as a representative of you know the the law enforcement in the state you should be trying to hey you know it's not that bad whatever it is got some situations going on and like i mean like comment on down but as far as like arresting them for regardless regardless of what they did outside of pure un pure uh premeditated murder which i don't know a six-year-old <laughs> I mean, Home Alone was good and all, but I, I'm just, I'm not seeing a, a six-year-old fully pulling off a, a premeditated murder. 
Michael Dean, the head of the juvenile division at the prosecutor's office, said Monday that the, his office was alerted the boy was on his way to the juvenile detention center, and he intervened so that the boy wouldn't spend time at the center at six. All right, like come on, man, like like uh, like they're like the the, the what's name is under twelve, so their their threshold is twelve years old, and you know I think that's pretty good. I, I think yeah, a twelve year old and a six year old like give the six year old some time. All right, explain, talk it out with them. You know, let them know, hey man, it's it's cool. You don't have to, you know, it, it's all right. That's Jesus. That's what the adult is supposed to do. But unfortunately, Mister Turner was clearly not an adult. State attorney for the Ninth Judicial Circuit, Armis D. Ala. Ayala told reporters Monday that her office never had any intention of prosecuting the elementary age uh, children. The girl's case was dismissed Monday morning. <sighs> she never, it never should have been what's named in the first place. It really shouldn't have. Just saying, it, like how, like what are you trying to put the the fear into them? This is a, uh, I think I can't help but feel like this is a part of that whole prison the pipeline thing that people talk about a lot because you're just creating these terrible and negative experiences with people in authority and with you and with law enforcement. So thusly, when they like, it, like, oh man, you, 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 I got locked up at six, son. <laughs> Like I've been in these prisons for years, bro. You want to get up? He came home with a little, like you know, a mom heart tattoo with the arrow through it and the whole nine, like a, a scar over his face at six years old. Like son, like yo, these it's it's hard in there, bro. It's hard in there, yo. You know what I'm saying? You you either gotta take that peanut butter, you gotta take that syrup, bro. I chose the peanut butter, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, that's at six. <laughs> like, I'm making jokes here, but. This is ridiculous. It really is. Roland told, uh, I also said she had not received a case number for the boy, but once it was assigned, it was too, it, it too will be immediately dismissed. Roland told reporters Monday that Turner had a previous incident in his personal life involving his child that was investigated by a neighboring per police department. An internal investigation sustained the allegations and Turner was disciplined at the time. The Orlando police didn't immediately respond to a request from Congress from NBC News on the incident in Doha. Okay, Doha. Yeah, yeah, kind of cute. But either ways, guys, yeah, that's uh, that's the that's the end of that one. And there's uh, seriously, oh, got an X out of it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this is a. I actually saw this story pop up a few times on the TL, as you saw. But um, you know, and I decided to take a moment and just talk about it because it's really does reflect them like like how do i put it there is a certain level of power that i don't think every that i think a lot of police officers may take for granted uh, that you know you can if you so desire you know really shape and in and in, in, in influence someone's life in a negative or positive way and it really just depend it really depends to, on, on you i know so many great and amazing police officers that are good people out there trying to do the best that they can but then you got a holes like this who you know throw, throw dirt on the name i mean i don't know guys i really don't because it, the law enforcement is insanely necessary but at the same time we can see how the processes and the individuals involved are just can be ridiculously flawed so with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like to talk to like this like go ahead do that so don't be scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to give videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch shooting like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang me boo for notifications and speak let me know what do you think in the comments um that like six-year-olds six-year-olds give them a chance man Give them a chance, all right? Jesus. But you may disagree. You might think, hey, Jay, yeah, they deserve to be in jail. Screw those guys, man. Like, yo, you know, they, you know, kicking someone as a six year old, psh, and next week they're going to be doing heroin and robbing banks. I mean, Jesus, what's next? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments, all right? Until the next one.